Hi Taurians, this is Mary Shima Shashalaka. Let's see what is it that you need to hear from me right now. Taurians out there, Sun Moon Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. All right. Taurians. You got a lover's energy as well as the Eight of Cups. Somebody is very disappointed in a commitment. Somebody might have walked away. There has been a separation. Your first card is this one. Four of Pentacles. But you're still holding on to this person. You are not willing to let go. Knight of Swords. You want to fight this out no matter what. All right? Because somebody has decided, uh, I am not willing to let go of them. Even if they walked out, no. I am still going to hang on. All right? You want to do something about this. You want to confront the situation. You want to find it out. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy, a Taurus or a Gemini, a Gemini energy, a Pisces energy, strong Gemini energy. Just a second. Yes. All right. Taurians are out there. What is your next card, please? Page of Wands. With that Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands, somebody wants to reach out. Somebody wants to send out a message. Okay? Because you feel there is still potential there. Yes. For uh, renewals, rebirths. You, you want uh, to transform the situation. You want this person who has walked away to come back in. Yeah? Because you feel there is a potential to make it work. All right. That is why you're still holding on with that Four of Pentacles energy. Yes, you feel like there is still a chance. When I, when I spoke about, you know, the Page of Wands, you have hope there. You have hope to still grab onto this. Still make it work. Because you feel there is a strong chance to make it work. And you will be abundant, happy, which is again, uh, Empress for me is a Taurus energy. Just like the Emperor who is a Taurus and an Aries energy. All right, moving on. This makes you content. Having them back in your life makes you content, fulfilled, abundant. That is why you are not giving up. Even uh, if you look at this card up close, this person is still, um, you know, not giving up. Even when the other people have walked away. He's still standing there. Okay? So he's not willing to give up even when it is a lost battle. Even if it feels like, you know, it's not worth it. You are still holding on. All right? Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. What is your next card, please? Dorian's out there. What is your next card? Your next card is this one. Three of Swords in the center of your reading. You're hurting. Okay? And you feel very betrayed right now. But yet, uh, it, it, uh, it could be the other person who felt betrayed and they walked away. You are hurting, but you want to change things around. With this wheel, you want to turn the wheel in your favor. You know things will not be stuck in this, uh, where things are right now, because three of swords and the four of pentacles. You're hurting. Four of pentacles, if you look at this picture, this person is closed off, uh, you know, keeping things to himself. His chest part is covered. Okay, so he is hurting. He or she is hurting. With the three of swords. Three swords in your chest. In your heart. You're hurting. Okay? Um, yeah. But there is a belief within yourself that you will be able to control the situation. You will be able to turn the wheel in your favor with that wheel card. Okay? You will be able to get past this. Because a wheel never gets stuck in one situation, uh, you know, at one place. 
the wheel keeps turning and you believe you will be able to turn the wheel in your favor. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or probably a Leo. Taurians are there. What is your next card, please? Another Taurus energy. You feel there is a chance to build up this foundation again. Again, this is all about structures, having that foundation, going by the rules, all that. Yes. Again, if you look at this person, he's, uh, you know, very defensive. Again, he's covering off his chest, you know, closed off. You don't want people to know how you feel. You're keeping it to yourself, but then you're not giving up. You want to fight this out. You want to guard what is yours. You want to guard what, um, you know, and you know, Guard this foundation. Because for you, things are not over yet. There is still a chance. That is why you are holding on. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo person. Taurians are there. What is your last card, please? What is your last card, please? The last card is this one, Six of Pentacles. Again, a Taurus energy. Some of you might be dealing with another Taur a Taurus person along with the Empress. Uh, so it's like uh, you will keep trying. As long as it takes, you will keep trying. There is an imbalance in this energy. One person is trying, you know, one person is being generous. Okay, this person is rich, so he is, you know, giving out, um, yeah, helping out the poor. That's how it is displayed in the picture. People are just extending hand. They have nothing to give back. In your case, you will keep trying, trying to reach out because uh, without page of roads, I spoke about even the knight of swords. I spoke about communication, reaching out. So you will reach out even if the balance, it is, um, you know, balanced. Uh, you are not getting much of, um, a reciprocation from the other person they are not responding back equally you will still keep trying because you want this to work okay and it hurts you that they are not responding the center of the uh, reading is the three of swords some of you are really hurting right now you're doing this because uh like i said this fulfills you this is what you want but there is this energy, I just broke the deck, a seven of swords. Somebody really screwed things up. Okay. Um, it could be either way. So you, you might be the one who has done it or the person whom you are wanting back in your life is doing that to you. Doing things behind your back, sneaky energy. That could be, could be the reason why you are hurt. But then, if that is the case, then I don't understand why you are still wanting this. You want a future with this person because you feel this is your future. I will be able to manage this person no matter what, even if they were screwing things up. I will be, uh, I want them back. Just give me a sec. Yes, that is a wheel card. Just... You have the belief that you will be able to turn things around in your favor. You will be able to make it work. But there is strong deception energy. That is why we've got the three of swords in your, uh, in the center of the reading. Because I mentioned about you know, somebody betrayed you. And it's just confirming to you, yes, with that seven of swords. But yet, I don't understand why you want them back. I don't understand why, uh, you know, you want to start over with them. You want to take your chances with them. All right. It's, it's up to you, though. 
Um, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, I just broke the deck again because I don't understand this reading. Queen of Swords. You're being asked. That could be the advice. You're being asked to think like the Queen. You know, don't don't think with the heart because your heart is hurting. The Queen of Swords is the icy bitch. All right, uh, she's an icy queen for a reason. She doesn't let her emotions come in between her judgment. She doesn't let it overpower her judgment. Do what is right for your own sake as well. Okay, think about it. Because it's your life. Yeah. Okay. That's it for now. This is Marishi, you're my channel to look at. Until next time, bye-bye.